Hey friends, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how we connected this little Goal Zero Yeti to this aftermarket solar panel. This will work for most of the Yeti power blocks here, and it's actually really simple. Let's get into it. So as I mentioned, we do have the Goal Zero Yeti 200X. This is the uh, lithium model. And uh, basically it has uh, the out ports here and then obviously the input uh, back here. This is a uh, standard, I believe, eight millimeter input. And basically this works great with the wall charger, but what we wanted was the ability to power this via solar. Solar suitcase uh, panels, as well as the other ones sold by Goal Zero are really expensive. This one on Amazon was much, much cheaper. The original price for this panel, I believe, was right around $50 to $60 uh, at the time. And so a much better option. Again, it's only 30 watts, but that will, with a very bright day, be able to power this back up with a trickle charge that will take a little while but still give you some good recharge. Now, again, a much better price, and so we just needed to figure out how to get some aftermarket parts in order to wire this back up. Now let me show you the back of this solar panel. So uh, basically, this specific solar panel, again, I'll have links to all this in the description box below if you wanna purchase this on Amazon for yourself. This is the new power. You can see what the ratings are here. And basically the output, uh, I'll go ahead and move this down just so you can see the connections here, uh, is basically just your two wires that come out of the panel that uh, moves down through uh, this little bracket that's holding it in. Again, all the wires connected and are shielded with this wiring. And then basically it came down and it ended down here at the bottom in two red and black wires, just like you see. So what I did is I got uh, another MC4 or solar connector kit on Amazon. And basically using uh, the little kit, again, links in the description box below, I was able to put some of these MC4 connectors directly onto those wires. Now, a lot of these solar panels will have these MC4 connectors already installed. So you can look for some of those. So if you do get a panel that has these, it'll look something like this, and they just feed uh, into a male and female uh, opposite uh, plugs. And these are really great for keeping weather out and keeping everything nice and secure, good conductivity, all that kind of good stuff. Now, this is the major piece that you will need. So this is those MC4 solar connectors. It goes into this little uh, splicer and then it comes out in that DC eight millimeter plug that we need to plug into the back of our goal zero here. So once that's plugged in, you basically can put the solar panel now out in the sun and that's basically all you need. So let's go ahead and set this up outside. I'll give you a quick demonstration. Okay, so I am on Amazon. I just wanted to show you a quick comparison. Again, we're just looking at the 30 watt solar panels, uh, but check these out. These are just like 45, 46 bucks. Here's the new power. This is the one that I was using, 43 bucks. Uh, let me click on this again, just to show you what it uh, looks like without those MC4 connectors. You see how it has the wire tips right there instead of those connectors? Just means you have to go through one extra step in buying a, a kit. Uh, but again, I'll put a link in the description box below to both this and a kit if you'd like to purchase it. What I'm gonna do really quick, just again for comparison purposes, let's go to Goal Zero solar panels and just look at the huge difference in pricing. So here is a 20 watt solar panel, again, 10 watts less. It's foldable, which is nice, but look at this, 150 bucks. Uh, this is a Nomad 5, much smaller for 60. Uh, this is a briefcase one, uh, $300 for 100 watts. Again, this is gonna be faster charging. Look, this is only 10 watt for 100 bucks. So you're gonna get some faster charging out of this. It's gonna be seamless uh, connection with your Goal Zero. But if you'd like to save some dollars, potentially up to a few hundred dollars, uh, really those uh, solar panels, the cheaper off brands are the way to go because honestly they work great. Okay, we're back out on my back deck 
Here's our solar panel. Again, this is the afternoon sun, so I'm angling it towards the brightest spot as possible. Then we have the cable out to the MC4 connectors and that into our little adapter that goes straight into that eight mil. One of the first things you'll notice with this setup is it doesn't have very much length. I don't like leaving this goal zero directly out in the sun, especially on really hot days. It's not that great for it. And if you've got an RV camper van, anything like that, maybe you're just wanting to power up. It's, it's something you want to keep this in the shade for. And so one of the things we highly suggest is this extension cable. If you need it again, I'll put links in the description box below. It's got MC4 connectors on one end and then the other ends are open, but this does come with another MC4 connector that you can actually clamp on. Again, uh, gives you the option to uh, connect to something else if you desire. And if you look on the front here, sorry for the uh, weird looking uh, delay here. It's kind of funny, but you'll notice that this is charging with this little uh, blue light that comes on down here to the right. Just to give you kind of uh, an, an example of what this is capable of, I left this out here for an hour and a half the other day, roughly an hour to an hour and a half, and I got about a 10% charge. So 30 watt is not going to give you really high powered fast charging, but it is great on bright sunny days in a pinch. Again, 30 watt panel is what we are currently using. So that's how we did it. Do you guys have anything better that you've used? Anything that you would recommend over this? If this is helpful, hit that thumbs up button. Let's know we're making good videos. Stay tuned, we're gonna make a bunch more Goal Zero uh, videos, solar videos. Those are coming out really, really soon. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you again on the next one.